Do you want to improve more on your shading skills to create realistic drawings like this one very, very easy and quickly? Well, if yes, then this video is exactly right for you. Watch this. Okay, so it all starts with a solid base tone. In the past tutorial, if you have seen it, I showed you how to put base tone using darker colors like B or 3B. But this time, I'm going to show you the value of the H-grade pencils. So it's easy to think that uh, H-grade pencils will not be utilized very well on drawings because they are hard and they produce very, very light skin tone, unlike the B grade pencils they produce darker values and it's easy to think for beginners that you need the dark values more than the light value pencils like the h pencils but here i think the hero of this uh, drawing you will not be able to achieve um what i'm gonna show you right here without this h pencils right here that i'm using to put on my base tone so uh, um realistic drawing especially with graphite pencils like this one it's important um to be able to capture the contrast meaning the darkness of the dark shadows and the lightness of the light tones and it's important that you have a base tone because this is where you are going to build your entire drawing and uh, without the base tone this particular technique that, that i'm going to show you is uh, it's not going to be possible and you will see it as we go on to our drawing so we have now uh the h and the 2h base pencil right here by the way the sketching that i did using the h pencil that you saw a while ago that is a geometric style of shading and uh, if you wonder if it is difficult to do it's not very difficult uh, because if you look on your reference photo you will just see how the shadows are uh, behaving like uh, geometric shapes like this one you will see that uh, they are all uh, in geometry but you have the option to do that or you can just use the typical uh, rounded uh, shape sketching right here but i love the this one the uh, geometric uh, shading because it's quicker to do and i want to um to do it this uh, particular uh, sketching using the h pencils and the here i'm using the h for the darkest shadow and then later on i will use the 2h uh for lighter shades and uh, this geometric style of drawing is uh just to make sure that you know where your shadows are, where your darker shadows are, where your mid-tones are, and where your light tones are. So uh, you should not be stressed uh, so much with this kind of style because uh, if you try it, you will figure it out very easily because uh, 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 as I told you a while ago, it's really not hard to figure out where those shadows are. And I just want to put my base tone, the whole face already, including the neck and the fingers. So I would not... Well, um, this technique, I use it because I don't want to feel that uh, I am really, really slow with my drawing. Because if you draw the entire face using this base tone technique, using H pencils, you have the feeling that you're already halfway of the drawing and you you have the tendency to really become more uh, aggressive with your drawing and to not feel bored with your drawing because you, you can see already the face. You can see already the similarity of the face from your reference photo by doing this technique. So um, uh, it's important just to use the light pencil. So here, this is a very light base tone technique. As you can see, I use the H for the darkest shadow already. And then now the 2H for the mid tone and the light tone. So uh, you may think that uh, why put very light shadow on a uh, realistic skin tone with more contrast? Um, well, it's important because the base tone will provide a solid foundation for your drawing because uh, at this stage, you can you can already erase for the highlights and you have like, um, it's like use, it's like um, when you do later on, you will see the actual drawing of the skin tone and you can just um, forget about this process later on because um, you will be focused on the actual skin tone and the, the style that I'm trying to achieve here, okay, here is the blending of the tissue. For, um, so it doesn't matter if uh, you do it very quickly because you, you're gonna blend with the tissue and everything will be nice and smooth and ready for the actual skin tone now what i'm trying to achieve here is hyper realistic skin tone which is quite difficult to do and quite slow to do without this particular process first so it's important it's very vital this uh based on as you can see you may think that it's very dark already but it's not it's not going to be dark and it's it will be very very light when you use darker pencils for the actual skin tone details like this one so now let's do the actual skin tone and you observe how the base tone will behave with the uh, um, now that we are going on to our actual skin tone, the details, the textures that we're going to put. And uh, surprisingly, it's not going to be very slow process, unlike uh, the regular uh, technique where you just directly use your dark pencils without the base tone. Now, with the base tone, um, everything will be really easy to do. And it's like, um, well, it feels like uh, you don't need too much blending already because of uh, 
the base tone. Now, this is the 9B. I started with my darkest pencil. This is the Karen Dash Graphwood 9B graphite pencil. And uh, uh, as you can see here, as we go on with the drawing, uh, it becomes lighter. The, the base tone becomes lighter. It looks lighter because we are now using our darkest, the, the B. We are now on the B. The H was uh, used for the base tone and now we are on the B. So, uh, for the beginner shite there, it's very important to use different grades of pencils. Okay? Because uh, it allows you to 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 it provides you with the contrast with the darkness uh, of the skin tone with the volume of the skin tone if you're using one or two pencils uh, that's not going to make your drawing more realistic actually i'm not using too much grades here i'm using just the 9b and uh, maybe 4b right here for my mid tones actually for my dark tones and then for the mid tone uh, now i use the b so i just use it uh, alternately whenever there are dark shadows i use the 9b whenever there are darker shadows but not too dark i use the 4b and then the b for the light tones and the details or also of the skin tone so if you are trying to create detailed hyper realistic skin tone like this it is a combination of these three steps the layering of the pencil depending on the grade depending on the darkness of the shadow so the layering and then blending using blenders like this one this is a soft makeup brush so you just go with your cosmetic shops and don't be afraid to buy the their makeup brushes because you're not going to use hard brushes here because of the base tone that we put uh, it's not necessary to use harder bristles of the brushes just soft makeup brushes is perfect for this kind of style because you want to retain the details that uh, you are putting on the skin tone if you put too much blending you are going to erase the details so um i love rough and textured skin tone i don't know i i, I really like it so whenever um, um i do realistic skin tone i really love to to, to erase to blend and then to layer again Th that process will continue until you're satisfied now i'm using the darkest pencil right here the pierre noir or noir how do you pronounce that pierre noir is that how you pronounce it the 3b and uh, arguably this is the darkest pencil in the world i don't know if that's true but it provides me with super dark value i i'm, I'm very careful using this pencil because i don't want to over darken the rest of the skin tone i just want to make some very very dark uh, uh parts of the drawing to be really dark to be able to increase my contrast now uh, i use several erasers here i have the electric eraser for very uh, sharp highlights and then i use the mono zero eraser right here for um, very good um, straight line highlights and then of course the needed eraser for soft highlights so you need to do that the, the layering using uh, stippling for the skin tone the tiny circular motion right here as you can see with a b to create details and then you erase you erase for uh, the details of the skin tone and then you layer again and then you blend again very very lightly using soft makeup brushes so uh, that is the process and you just continue until you get uh, the kind of contrast that you have based on your reference photo so right here you can see uh, we will continue the details on the nose right here so i have darker values right here on this side so i used the 4b already but i don't feel the use the, the need to use the 9b because that's going to be super dark and then right here so uh, for the details the wrinkles it's going to be easy to do those wrinkled uh, nose right here using uh, the b pencils because you already have the base tone so that is the value of the base tone without the base tone it's not going to be quick it's not going to be easy to do this kind of hyper realistic skin tone right here with lots of wrinkles with lots of skin pores so you can just use directly your dark pencil on top of your base tone the h base tone right here so stippling uh, if you are trying to create a detailed skin tone with skin pores and textures you do the stippling uh, that is the tiny circular motion that you do with your pencil as you can observe right here do not do a uh, cross hatching or anything just do the stippling directly on your base um, H based skin tone right here and then just continue the process of stippling layering using stippling using different grades I'm using uh, the B the 4B right here and then the 9B of the graphite for darkest tones and then whenever I need super dark value that is where I use the Pierre Noir uh, pencil because that's going to be too dark right here so now uh, I'm trying to uh, erase for some tiny details right here and uh, I'm just showing you here because I want to show you the value of the H base that we layer a while ago and what it did to make this particular drawing super textured super realistic and very quick to do uh, and uh, I suppose without the base tone the H tone it's not going to be this uh, realistic and this quick as you can see right here so how about you do you want skin a uh, smooth skin tone or do you want the textured right here let me know on the comment section see you on part two